What's up guys, another day, another video. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on here and I hate that, but so I've been working like crazy. Got a bunch of cool stuff over here in boxes. This is what we're gonna be working on today. It is a articulating hitch for my trailer. So I'm not gonna waste no time. I wanna get this, uh, I haven't even opened the box yet, so I have no idea what I need or if it'll just go on like it is, but I have a plasma and a welder and some steel, so I'm probably just gonna make it work. But I'm gonna get my trailer out of the yard over here. Probably gonna unload it a little bit and uh, roll it over here close. That way I can get some welding done in the driveway, get it figured out and get it knocked out. I also may work on my motorcycle hitch today too. Um, I want to perfect that and that will really get me set up on my little trailer. Alright, I got the trailer up here where I needed it to go. Moved it by hand just to verify that this thing is movable. Grab this hitch. It's got a big old hole in the box, but it's all right. We're gonna open this thing up right here and see exactly what's in here. And if we can make it work with what we got right here. If not, I guess we'll have to figure it out. That's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, I already see what I need to do. I just need to cut my old little rinky dink tongue off here. This one will slide right over what I got, weld it up, golden. See, that piece is going to slide over what I got, and the it's probably going to be more work taking this one off and putting that one on but I'm gonna get uh, my grinders out get cutoff wheels flapper it looks like a drill this may be rosette welded so we may have to drill a little bit and I may have to flip the trailer up back to get up under but yeah this is gonna I think this this would be I right.
All right, rock and roll in. Uh, the hitch is welded on. I got it burned in. Um, I welded up under here too. I'm gonna find some paint, throw some paint on the back of it so it doesn't weld. And then uh, when it cools off in a little bit, I'm gonna drill these two holes right here. Put two bolts in it just for, just for safety's sake. Uh, I went up underneath and added some more welds to some more places on my control arms. Um, I'm gonna pick up my mess here. I got my welder out, I'm done with it. I'm gonna put it up. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up my mess real quick, go get the Jeep, bring it around here, and try to uh, get this thing backed up to it and see about height and whatnot, and go from there. All right, got her hooked up, back on its own weight. Everything loaded back in it, and I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. Everything feels fine. Uh, it's a lot quieter, I know that. I'm gonna end up welding these two joints together I think here and here um, just to try to eliminate some of the noise and then bolt bolt it and weld it this one the extension and then I'm gonna bolt it into the hitch and also have to extend the chain since everything's about uh, my normal hitch was right here so everything's about 8 to 10 inches longer I'd say so I'm going to get 8 to 10 inches of more chain that's all right though, I'm gonna to go to the hardware store and pick up some heavier duty chain. And I'm gonna use that instead and just unbolt it from where it's at. Put some grade eight bolts and some better chain on it. And I'm hurt and that's gonna be that. Probably everything on this thing is overkill, but I'd rather it be that way than not. I was also able to get my fridge scooted over and get my big pack out trunk in there and got both those boxes snapped on there. I like that way better. I don't have anything else in there loose besides my two dry bags, as you can see. Plenty of room still. Um, I still got plenty of room for stuff. Uh, I could pack, get me a few more dry bags and definitely have a lot more room for storage, but I don't think I don't need any, uh, any more storage than what I have here. Me by myself, I could probably put enough food in this thing for a week. Yeah, I could put enough clothes and food in this thing for a week easy by myself or even two people. So, yeah, there it is. That's the uh, that's my Max Coupler install. Um, got it welded on there. Like I said, I'm going to come in here and drill some holes and put some bolts there and paint it up. And we'll follow up when I get that done. But um, as far as the install, it's pretty easy. There is nothing else to it. You just need to adapt this to your tongue and and hook this to a ball mount hitch and you're done. That's gonna be it for the hitch. That's an easy, easy install. Um, I got this hitch from Pacific Northwest Teardrops. I really do appreciate them. Also appreciate y'all for watching. And I will see y'all in the next one. Going in and out recessions the same way that I be going in and out of Texas.